Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch this awesome presentation by our friends, Old School Marketing. I'm very, very blessed and fortunate to not just have these as partners, but as friends. Yeah, you know, we were just talking about the CWC Vegas event, which is coming up in September. We do actually have a couple spots left open. Not many, though. Seriously, I was just talking about our event coordinator. If you're at all interested in coming and meeting these people, along with fantastic partners that we have to help you grow and scale your agency, and to learn from me, Craig Wiggins, Allison Donor, and all of our coaches, just wanted to do a shameless plug for our live event coming up in Vegas in September. If you haven't registered yet, you need to register soon because it's basically sold out. Uh, this webinar is being recorded, and I'll be sure to post it on the CWC member platform, on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook page. I'm going to post it everywhere so you can rewatch it and share with other agents, y'all. Share this with other agents who want to grow with direct mail and more. See, old school marketing isn't so old school. They're not so old school. They can help with online. They can help with all kinds of other stuff. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say the other thing that you're going to be talking about today. I don't want to ruin the surprise, <laughs> but they are certainly not old school. But when it comes to handwritten direct mail, open rates, all that kind of stuff, their programs are amazing. Y'all help dozens of Craig Wiggins coaching member agencies. And y'all, I get amazing responses. Sometimes people go in our Facebook groups and say, hey, who do y'all use for direct mail? And people will give different suggestions. Old school is always up at the top. I literally saw a post uh, last week in one of our groups saying something like, hey, has anybody ever tried old school marketing? What's like the response rate? So many great responses from agents saying it's amazing. The open rates are high. The callback rates are high. What y'all do is fantastic. And I just want to thank you for giving us a few minutes today to share more about how you can help agencies grow with handwritten direct mail and oh, so much more. <laughs> with that said, I'm going to pass it to my friend, Michaela from Old School. Michaela, take it away. Hi, my name is Michaela Kelsey, not Rusty Dykus. I see that it says Rusty Dykus's name on my picture. That's not me, uh, Michaela Kelsey. I'm vice president of Old School Marketing, and I'm going to be sharing my screen with the presentation. But first, I want to introduce Rusty. He is our CEO. And Rusty, I wanted to start the conversation with you telling us a little bit about how we started and who we are and where our hearts lie. We started as an Allstate agency. Imagine that. Um, so yeah, I, I quit my company I was at for 23 years and started a scratch Allstate agency. About three months into it, I'm sitting here going, this is not working. My numbers aren't right. I'm not getting by. I'm a scratch agent. I have no customers. I'm sure you guys don't know anything about that. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a tough, tough environment. So I went out and I interviewed seven different agents that have been an agency for 30 years. And some of them were State Farm, Allstate. I, I had a farmer's agent as well. And I just, truthfully, I didn't learn anything. I, I didn't do anything they told me, but I walked out with this idea. And I went, down, went back to my office and I'm not suggesting you guys do this, but I literally shut down my sales and marketing office and my entire front end. And I sat in the conference room, even with my kids, and we hand wrote 25,000 mailers a month for months straight ourselves because I couldn't afford anything else. I was going broke. It wasn't working. Um, you know, fast forward a few months and the phone starts to ring. And by the time I get to Christmas, um, I'm just sitting here panicking. And we literally just took a week off. I, I, took, I took the week of Christmas all the way to, to New Year's off. I was just, I didn't think it was going to work. I thought it was going to fail. I had just went off tier. I'm sure these stories are strange to everybody, but um, <laughs> went off tier. I'm sitting here. It's and I, I'm literally just just down. And then it's it's January first, and we walk into the office, and there are ten phone messages from the mailers that we've been sending out for all these months. And the next day, I had another five. And the next day, we had three more. And the next day, we had seven more. I was so busy. We we jumped back on tier in January. Fast forward a couple of years, I sold the agency, um, and I actually started an independent agency also. Um, sold that last month. Um, I'm officially out of the insurance business at this point. Um, but that's kind of how we started. We started just out of survivability, uh, just trying to figure out how in the heck am I going to make this work? And I've been in sales and marketing my whole life. Insurance can't be that much different. Holy smokes. I was completely wrong. Never been anywhere like this before. And, you know, not to mention my rates and all in and, and the uh, um, Arkansas area for all state was Oh, so much higher than everybody else. So, but the long story of it is, is my mailers caused us to succeed. 
And I was able to take a scratch agency and move it from nothing to surviving to actually being able to sell it one day. And that's that's the beauty of all state or old school marketing and all state for that matter. Um, and the beauty of it is, is um, it works. It saved my company. It literally has saved others and made others flourish. Um, there's there's a couple of gentlemen in Texas, uh, one's in the Panhandle, one's in the South, and I won't mention names, but they, they literally say we're the reason that they've made it to the top. They're making top tier, they're hitting bonuses. Um, and it really is because of the handwritten direct mail. So it's just fun. I, I enjoy helping uh, CEOs across the country in all kinds of different markets just learn to be successful. This is what I've done my whole life. I've built companies just like this. And uh, it's fun just, just having those conversations with people. So that's kind of the history. That's where we started. Uh, Michaela, back to you. Yeah, I wanted everyone to hear our story because sometimes we jump on these and we just go straight into kind of a sales pitch mindset. And I wanted to bring in our history and bring in what our uh, goal is as a company uh, to kind of let you know who you're supporting and who you're working with. So our number one goal is to work with people, right? We're not automotive. Uh, whenever you come on, you're assigned a representative who works with you wholeheartedly, most likely even me right? I do not drop my accounts. I have a list of about 50 accounts on my plate that I will not let go of Rusty's tribe because I just, I make friends, right? And I care about you. And on top of it, we employ, we're the number two employer in our community. We employ people within our community. Their jobs are to hand address these envelopes. So our company is very important to us. And I just wanted to make sure you guys knew who we are, were and who you're working with. So I'm going to share my screen here and start the lovely presentation. Dun, dun, dun. Right. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Drum roll. Hold on. Drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Old school tactics and new school tactics. Okay. So, um, handwritten direct mail is our number one niche. That is what we specialize in. What started us? Um, why is per personalization so important when marketing? So. We kind of always tell this brief story when we're training our reps. You know, if you go to your mailbox and you're flipping through your mail, uh, you probably look at a postcard for a couple of seconds. You know what junk mail is. If it's windowed, it has the red urgent sticker on it, right? But when you see our envelopes, our envelopes are plain uh, white envelopes, return address on there, lead specific, right? And an actual stamp. You're going to open it. So it enhances customer experience and it really brings back humanity in today's marketing. Um, and one thing we will talk about is digital marketing, which we do do, but our handwritten direct mail campaigns coincide with that digital marketing because we wanna make sure that you are bringing humanity back into your company, right? People wanna work with people. They don't wanna work with robots. So customization, basically we'll do anything you wanna do. So not only do we have our base campaigns such as home and auto, which I'll talk about in a second, um, but we also do uh, creative campaigns for clients. So I have actually today, I got an email saying, hey, can you do a requote campaign for me? Absolutely. So we're doing his, um, you know, win backs, requoting people. We're also doing uh, letters to tell them, hey, uh, sorry, your rates went up, that kind of thing, but we'll design them for you. Uh, we have a whole design team in house and we'll send it. If you can mail it, we'll send it. So I actually did um, a soccer tournament for an insurance agency last summer, or two summers ago, I think, uh, where they were hosting this for their kids. I did coffee cups, soccer balls, everything with their logos. So if you can dream it, we'll make it happen. So let's talk about the number one campaign that I sell um, and that really what built our company and that is home. So we can do this a couple different ways. My favorite way is by individual X dates. So what that means is instead of it having an all at once drop or a schedule drop, you know, bi-weekly, we're going to send each individual envelope based off that individual X date. Uh, so what that's going to do is it's going to spread your calls out all month long. With the lead data that we're using, you have every right to tell me what filters you want. Um, so if you want to make sure that they bought a PlayStation last week, I can find that. Obviously, home value, age, um, uh, age of home, age of clients, number of cars that they have, all of those filters matter depending on what state you're in. And so we can get as specific as possible to make sure we're hitting the leads that you want to hit. Going over to auto, it works pretty much the same way, except me personally, 
depending on who you are or what state you're in. I don't necessarily like putting a quote on there on auto campaigns. I like to say what um, you can save by switching your auto. So talk to me, maybe I can switch you X percent or save you X percent or X amount of dollars. And then we have options on our auto data as well. Obviously I'm gonna be mailing to homeowners. Some, actually some agents like to uh, mail auto to renters as well. So it's just depending on what you wanna do. My point being is we can send anything and everything, but we do have specifically designed campaigns to make sure we're targeting the leads that you want to target. Rusty, do you have anything to add? Nope, that's good. All righty, making sure. Okay, so Rusty's definitely going to want to add to this one. Drum roll, please. This is our new campaign that we just launched a couple months ago in, in the middle of quarter one. And this is what we call our rapid fire campaign. So our rapid fire campaign works similarly uh, to home and auto, except of the data. The data is different. Rusty, why don't you chime in here and tell us a little bit about what makes this campaign different? Very good. Um, okay, so like Michaela said, data source is the backbone of any direct mail campaign. We are old school marketing, but it takes new school thinking to take our money and make it stretch as long as we possibly can. Um, and that's kind of what I like doing. So on rapid fire, it's more expensive to ship these, but here's the detail behind it. Number one, we're sending it using a first class stamp. So in most parts of the United States, it will land about three to four days after we put it in the mail versus a bulk class is about two weeks. So, but the data source is what they call intent data or first party data. Um, and what we do is we actually take in we know who's shopping for home and auto insurance online. And because we know that, we're able to respond very quickly. We, we've developed a process and a team here that as soon as we find out that you're shopping for home or auto insurance, and we know that, within 48 hours, we've handwritten an envelope, we put a mailer in it, and we stick it in the mail. And my goal is to try and get that consumer or business, depends on what we're doing, um, a mailer one week after they have been shopping for it online. And I'll just say this, we started doing this ourselves about 30, 40 days ago, and it has been amazing. The response has been amazing. Our website hits have gone up about five times from 30 days before. Um, the, direct the direct mail using first party or intent data has drastically changed everything about us. So. I'm, I'm excited about this. I think it's gonna be a big part of the future um, for direct mail. I'm not poo-pooing everything else because home is still, like Michaela said, it's our number one product. It works. Um, this right here is just holistically different. You're hitting, you're hitting a target at a completely different time than anybody else as well. So whereas most insurance agents, we're out there and we're trying to land uh, based on X date within you know, plus or minus a week of the 45 day window, with this, it, happen, it happens all the time. If they're shopping for home or auto, and right now with the amount of inflation and pricing going up, I know Allstate never raises prices, but for you know the other insurance agencies that do raise prices, um, that was a joke. Um, we, we are able to, we know that everybody is shopping. And, and I'm telling you right now, I've seen more shopping going on online from a consumer basis than I've ever seen before. It's, it's, it's like the entire United States um, is out shopping for home and auto insurance and condo insurance right now, all at the same time. So on the one hand, it's really hard to be an insurance agent because I know the pricing's going up here and there. The flip side, everybody's going through the same thing all at the same time. And there's just a lot of movement within the insurance agency. If you're good and you know what's going on, you're going to be able to tackle that market now and grow your agency quicker than ever before. Okay, I'm totally getting off topic. Okay, I'm gonna push this <laughs> no, back to I, but you hours. said something that I want to chime in with, um, and that is, you know, cho like choosing which campaign you want to do. I don't like doing a rapid fire campaign with somebody for somebody without them doing a home and or auto as well, right. because home and, and or auto is going to make you have those consistent calls, right? It's going to feed your people. It's going to be the cornerstone of your marketing with direct mail. This is a very nice add on. Um, and like Rusty said, we started doing it for ourselves a few months ago, and I was blown away, honestly. Um, something that we do, which we can do for you too, just ask us, is we do a sticky note on there as well. So we'll say, give me a call or whatever we want our slogan to be on our flyer. 
and we send that out using this campaign method. And the response rate has been fantastic. I've been able to feed my people and it's been a lot of fun seeing what kind of new leads we get that way. Um, and also it's such a hot lead, right? Cause they're calling you. And um, that's a game changer from cold calling as we all know. I, I forgot about something. So forgot. something else we do that is working for us, um, Michaela, I don't know if you remember or not, but on the rapid flyer, we're actually going in and we're handwriting a post-it note. It's a yellow yeah, post-it yeah. note. Mm -hmm. Sounds really stupid, but we put that post-it note on there um, and, and we can say whatever you want to say. But what I like saying is like, hey, I know you were looking and you sign your signature. And then we insert your business card into the rapid fire flyer, rapid fire flyer, tongue twister. <laughs> um, yeah. Three times fast. Go. Anyway, um, so it's it's working exceptionally well. The, the psychology of that little post-it note, it's like you literally took the time to handwrite an envelope and then you put a post-it note on there in it. I mean, you must really care about me. And so the call ratios have been astounding, even on a commercial side. And this is the way we do it as well. We send out those handwritten direct mail. You'll probably get one from us as well. Um, and then we'll put a little post-it note in there with our business card. And I'm telling you, it, it works like clockwork. Um, the percentage of people that actually call in with the post-it note without, it almost doubles. I mean, it's 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 literally a it's, it's a doubling effect from just a little bitty post-it note. So I anyway, actually I actually had a client who started doing rapid fire who mailed the same lead like we didn't notice. Right. So we mailed them a home flyer. A couple months later, they got a rapid fire fire. Gosh, you're right. Rapid fire. flyer. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, that person called and said, hey, you've mailed me twice. So uh, that's another thing is you're not necessarily going to be mailing them twice because what's the probability that that person is Googling home insurance after they got your mailer, right? Hopefully not uh -huh. high. Hopefully they called you the first time. But it is a nice way to double back and uh, you know just capture those leads you might not have without rapid fire flyers. Rapid okay. flyer flyers. We should have thought about before we named it rapid. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> we'll create a rhyme. <laughs> yes, a limerick. Okay, <laughs> so a handwritten hand. Wow, here I am. I'm out. I'm slurring my words. Handwritten greeting cards. Uh, this uh, campaign is my little baby. I am very proud of it. If you scan this QR code here, um, it'll take you to our handwrittencards.net. So we have two websites. Uh, first QR code on this slide was our main website. Uh, and then this one is if you want to go in and you want to send greeting cards uh, to any of your leads, any of your family, whatever. I utilized it for my baby shower. Utilize it for whatever you want. Um, but what it, what it is is self-explanatory. We will hand address your greeting cards. We'll John Hancock that sucker on the inside. You can tell us what memo you want on the inside. On if you want to send one or a thousand, you just let us know in your order form and we will create them. You can create your own cards. You can order what we have in stock. Give us an idea of what you're looking for. We've done very specific campaigns for people who wanted a specific uh, look of their cards. So we create, we printed those cards for them. Um, usually they like what we have in stock. We have a nice partnership uh, with a greeting card company and they're fantastic. And so they make uh, real Hallmark greeting cards, right? And so these are first class. Like I said, you don't have to do anything except place your order and we'll handwrite and send them out on the date that you want us to send them out as well. So if you want to send out a birthday and you want to land it on that birthday, tell us when that birthday is and we'll do our very best to make sure it lands on that exact date. So this is a nice way to keep up that personalization I was talking about, right? Keeping up that humanity feel in today's corporate America. I like to send all my Christmas cards through our website. Um, and so you can use it for personal as well as business. So it's a fun little side thing we have going on. I like it. All right, Rusty, this slide's for you, data nerd. Uh, um, tell us what makes us different and how we are data brokers. Yeah, we are data nerds. I like that. Um, yeah. I've got I've got data lords on staff as well, not just nerds. Um, so His yeah, name we is Matt. <laughs> data yeah, we got Matt, we got Phil, we got Clayton. Um, sounds crazy, but we've actually got three data people on staff, um, and that's what we do. It it really is the backbone of everything we do, whether it be um, doing direct mail with third party data, first party intent data, shopper data consumer, commercial, doesn't matter, all over the place. Um, I'm able to get almost anything. I, I literally know, I mean, I've got my, my 
my dashboard right now is up on my screen and I know who is what companies are actually out there shopping for direct mail right now. I mean, every hour, it just it just comes in. Um, I know who's looking for home insurance. I know who's looking for all this different kinds of auto insurance, et cetera. And we're able to go and respond to that data in all kinds of different ways. And um, it's it's pretty exciting. And the data world today is just changing so fast. Um, I'm working on a company right now. They, they do CFOs. Um, they're a part-time uh, CFO, or not part-time, uh, fractional. It's a fractional CFO company. Um, and we're actually using intent data for companies that are actually shopping for a CFO. And then we're able to you know, go in and we're able to target them with direct mail pieces that are back with a QR code. That QR code then goes to a landing page where we're capturing more information. I mean, it's an amazing new world from a data perspective. And I, I geek out. I mean, I could talk about this for hours. So it's, it's a lot of fun. There's a new thing called scoops that I'm working with right now. Um, where, like, for instance, um, you may have a really small audience that you're trying to tackle. Well, sometimes there are companies out there that are actually going out and, and building capture nets and then asking very pointed questions. And then they come back and when they answer these surveys or whatever, they'll give them 25 or 50 bucks. Well, you can imagine what that means from a lead perspective. It's an expensive lead. But because we're using all the same information amongst a bunch of different companies, we're sh sharing that expense over all of us. So anyway, data is fun. I could talk about this for hours. I'm going to shut up now and turn this back over to Michaela. Well, I wanted him to do his gibberish on that because I wanted you guys to know that basically we can find whatever we need to find. And that is really the wholesome idea of direct mail in marketing in itself. Um, there are a lot of different campaigns. I know we just touched base on a few. We have so many more, uh, whether it be birthdays. Um, and we also do, like I said, win backs and things like that. There are so many things that we do just based off of the specific type of data you're looking for. New movers is another one. You want to send out a letter to people who have recently moved into your area and say, hey, I'm your neighborhood agent. Give me a call. We do that. So it all depends on the data, the quality of the data and who we're sending to, it all coincides to make one giant pie and it matters where that data comes from. So Rusty, here is where I wanted to kind of answer. I didn't want to build a slide for it because it's very unique in what we're doing with this because we started doing it for ourselves. And that is our AI. Now, uh, I think in today's time, as of this month, everybody is saying the word AI. What is um, that? Every what is it? Um, everyone is trying to utilize it some way, shape, and form. Now, we also went down a rabbit hole with AI in a much bigger picture, but we quickly found that it was kind of taking away from who we were and, and what we do. So we backscaled that a bit. And then Rusty came to me, I don't know, what was it was a month ago, maybe two months ago, and said, why don't we build one for LinkedIn? So currently, as we speak, we have an AI running for Rusty's a our LinkedIn, my LinkedIn, um, uh, one of our business development uh, people's LinkedIn, our VP of sales and marketing LinkedIn. And we are very specific on who we are looking for in LinkedIn and what we want our AI to say to them. Mine, because I don't like AI taking over my conversations for me, I like to still have that and, and get to know my people. So my AI is a little less complicated. It finds the person, says hello to them, starts the conversation, and then every morning, when I have my coffee, I go through all of my messages, right? And I have one-on-one -on -one conversations. And when I tell you in the last two months that this has been my number one lead source, aside from our rapid fire fire campaigns, uh, it has been, it, it's been incredible. And it's also helped me network. Um, I've made a, quite a few friends, actually. I'm going on vacation in Florida and I met with a woman on LinkedIn AI and we discussed, you know, um, getting to meet each other because I'm going to be in her neck of the woods. So it's just a fantastic way to grow um, your marketing in the digital sense. So Rusty, let them know what we're offering in that regard. I don't know. You did a pretty good job. I think I'll just be quiet. No, I need just you to kidding. talk about the money part. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> It's $1 so, million. Dollars. A million dollars. Okay. So what I've done is we developed um, a program. It is, it is an AI, it's a soft AI. Um, it's not really intelligent. It's not automatically learning or doing anything I don't want it to do. So we don't have to worry about the, the Terminator coming to 
um, old school marketing anytime soon. So what we've done is uh, we're utilizing Sales Navigator, which is a LinkedIn software that helps people that are in sales and marketing. And this topic right here is really for insurance agents that are interested in chasing commercial. Um, the, this is a commercial topic. It is not a B2C topic at this time. Um, and I'll explain why here in a moment. So on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is obviously very B2B. It's commercial focused. We find out what is it that you're wanting to focus on? What type of industry are we chasing? Whether it be landscapers or construction or restaurant owners, doesn't really matter. LinkedIn has everything in there. So we get the sales navigator, we link it up. And what happens is my AI bot goes in and we actually um, get connections for you every day. Every week, LinkedIn rations how many connections we can get, depending on how much money we're paying. And those rations go out. So we do those connections in the right fields that you want. And um, it's once the connection is had, a day later, we'll go out and have a conversation. And we're like, hey, thanks for connecting. Um, this is what we do. If you're interested, click here and let's schedule an appointment. Um, cool. Okay. So the connection is had, you put that post up there and nobody has a conversation with you. Nobody responds. That's where a human often can come in, have a quick witty conversation. Michaela's really good at it. I and mean, she's got some really witty things. I actually got called witty today. It's yeah. The first we, time in my we, professional we, career. I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> quick on our feet. And that's what people, people just want to have fun. They want to do good things. So we get in there and have conversations. If nobody responds a week later, we'll do one follow-up and then we're off and running to the next people. But like Michaela just said, um, in, in general, we, one AI um, will generate around three to five appointments a week. That's what I'm typically seeing right now. Um, and when I say appointments, they're, they're wanting a quote. They're, they're wanting to talk about insurance. They're wanting to talk about that or whatever it is that we're selling at the time. I've even got one set up for a CFO services. So it's literally all over the place. Um, I can pretty much program that for anything um, that you're wanting to go chase in the B2B market space. Okay, now let's transition and we'll talk about B2C. Um, and Michaela kind of alluded to this. Uh, we went out and we started what they call, what we were calling insurance nerds. And um, we went out and built AIs because we know how to do that. We can, we can talk AI. And I went out and we, we touched over 150,000 consumers. And my experience was so horrible that I quit. Um, the, the AI space right now from a consumer perspective, um, basically AI in the consumer space, you're doing one of three things or all three at the same time. You're doing email marketing, you're doing text marketing, and then you're doing uh, voice marketing if you've got the right software platforms that are all set up. Here's been my experience. My experience with that was um, it may be good for an insurance agent to have one AI plugin along if you can feed it, if you can man it, if you have somebody that knows how to talk all the talk and walk all the walk, you might get a few leads out of it a month if you're lucky, but you're going to spend thousands of dollars between specialized data that you got to buy. You just can't go buy normal data. It takes a very special set of data. It took me took me six months to learn how to feed my AI, right? It wasn't oil <laughs> and it wasn't water. It, it was data and it was really hard. Um, but then in the end, it just, it was slow moving. And um, at some point in time, I just, I gave up, I quit. Um, I feel like today there's so many touches happening because of AI in the consumer space that people don't trust anything anymore. Text messages are coming through in mass. I mean, today alone, I, I've got 15 text messages from companies. I have no idea who they are and what they're trying to sell me. And I delete every one of them. We don't have conversations. And I'm afraid that's what the world's kind of turned into right now is everybody's scared to answer the phone. They're scared to send a text message. Voicemails don't mean much anymore. I mean, I get voicemails every day and my phone never rang. Well, that's because of AI. It's because of bots. So I'm I'm not here trying to tell you to go into the consumer space on AI, at least not at this time. I've spent enough money um, to know that it's probably not the best way to chase down leads right now. But on the B2B side, man, there's something really good. It's working for us, works very well. It is part of my program for my own company and I'm excited about it. Yeah, and honestly, rapid fire came from that AI. 
uh, what is okay. called a failure because it worked, but it just wasn't where we wanted to be or who we wanted to represent ourselves as, right? Because, um, I mean, it worked. It just wasn't as well as direct mail, which we all done know, right? So um, we use the similar ideology, the similar data, but we do it in a direct mail format instead of AI. But anyway, wrapping that up for, I don't remember what you said the pricing was on LinkedIn AI. It, it does help. Um, with your network, it, and I know you guys are a lot of a more of a consumer basis than a bit B2B basis, but if you did want to dive into the commercial side of things, or you did want to help out your network and just work with your, with your LinkedIn, because LinkedIn is such a big deal right now in the business world, definitely uh, talk to us about it. Cause Rusty, what did you say pricing was for a LinkedIn AI? Um, so if we're going to go build you a fresh AI, there's a one-time setup fee of 5,000. And then your ongoing fees, you actually sign up for Sales Navigator and you sign up for another project. I think combined, that's, that's like $180 a month is what that comes out to be. So it's 5,000 up front. We go build what you want. We put it all in place. We spend an hour with you on the phone and we train you on how to use your bot. And it's really easy. You literally just go in and, and work within LinkedIn and we teach you how to go do that. If I can do it, you can do it. So <laughs> I said, yeah. if I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it's just, a like I said, uh, round, wrapping that up, it's a very nice way, um, to build your professional profile as well. Yeah. Definitely yeah. did that for me. So I'm going to put my contact information out here. Uh, that's my email and that is my actual cell phone number. So giving you my number, um, reach out to me and let me know if there's anything that we can do to help you, um, in regards to our marketing campaigns, but also, we are now offering, or I am now offering, I have volunteered my time and energy to do free 30-minute marketing consultations. So if you just want some advice on how to better your own marketing, um, what you're currently doing, uh, you just want to say, hey, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing live transfers. I'm doing X, Y, and Z. Um, let me know. We can talk about it. I can say, give you some ideas on how to implement something else. Um, if you want to talk direct mail, I can help you learn how to do it yourself if you want to do that. Otherwise, let me know and we will take over your marketing for you. Um, but yes, if you want to schedule a free consultation with me for just going over your marketing plan, I do offer that as well. So wrapping that up, Rusty, do you have anything else to say? Yes, I'm putting a link right now into chat for our YouTube channel. Make sure you sign up, subscribe. Um, oh, yeah. That's we do weekly right videos and podcasts. Uh, we started that a couple of months ago as well. A lot has happened this year. Yeah. Um, so we call it B2B Break Room. It is the most laid back webinar that you will ever attend. Uh, we like to keep it that way. I bring a different coffee cup every day with some sort of funny slogan on it. Um, and we just sit back, relax, and talk about whatever topic we're talking about. We also, every once in a while, have a CEO join us um, just to shoot the shiz right and just talk about whatever business uh whatever business topic we want to talk about um and sometimes we have educational ones sometimes we just have funny laid back ones um you name it but definitely i'm going to be that person but like and subscribe uh to our youtube channel because we have a lot of fun content on there as well and Love tiktok it. we're on tiktok too Love it. All right, let's open this up to Q&A. looks like Joseph left us. No, nope, there he's back. No, <laughs> yeah. I never left. I just didn't <laughs> want to be distracting. I didn't want to be distracting uh, with my handsome looks. Y'all, that was a really great presentation. And I would guess that y'all have to be related, the, uh, which I know that you are. The way that y'all just We don't talk about that, banter, Joseph. I know. <laughs> I, I just think it's really cool. I hope we're all done for us today. I know. I hope that my daughter one day wants to work with me. You guys make a really, really great team. And I, I love you. the fact that this is a family business. A couple yeah. things, handwritten cards, dude, I wish I'd known that y'all did that. I use, I use another version of that and I just checked your pricing. You're way cheaper than the other main competitor that's out there. I do that. Mm -hmm. I'm too lazy to handwrite a thank you card, but I send them to Craig. I send them to my uncle. I send them to yeah. family. Thank you notes. I'm so glad to know that I bookmarked it. And you're yep. going to be getting all my handwritten card business because I don't awesome. like to write stuff, I right? Know. But I'll type it. Dang. I'll type it. Then you guys can write it. Hey, on uh, that subject, though, Joseph, mm -hmm. we're, get, we're, we're booking our Christmas right now. So we have to buy Christmas cards. There's a paper shortage. I don't know if everybody knows that. But we have to go yeah. buy Christmas cards now. So we need orders in for Christmas cards by the end of August. So and then just we need a quantity. And then we'll go buy and we'll have everything ready for you for Christmas. So 
just something that else. That is really cool. Yep. And all the other programs that you guys have from the data. See, a lot of other vendors out there, they're kind of one trick ponies. And they, they do that trick well. They, yep. they ride that pony well. Ride that pony. I don't know what I'm even trying to say. You are not a <laughs> one trick pony. Yeah, <laughs> that's another song. Uh, Y'all are not a one trick pony. You can do all kinds of things. I saw the chat where somebody said, what about life insurance? What about health insurance? You can find data on that. The data that you can have to maybe target potential condos, uh, renters. You know, those can be really easy policies to write to help juice up somebody's numbers. Um, your B2B stuff on LinkedIn, I think is super interesting. A lot of agencies right now are having to kind of pivot more towards commercial, yep. especially with certain carriers that are really kind of struggling with personal lines right now, but their commercial lines are pretty wide open. I didn't know that y'all did that. Y'all do all of this amazing stuff. You're not a one trick pony. I think no. you have amazing value. And I just want to encourage anybody out there, take Michaela up on her offer. She's been in this business for many years. The fact that she's willing to have a 30 minute conversation with you about all things leads and marketing, no strings attached, no cost. You know, I imagine that she might have some recommendations of how they might can help you with your leads and marketing, but I would encourage y'all just to set up a call, shoot her an email, set up a call. I think that that is a very, very awesome opportunity for all of you to pick her brain. She's brilliant. She's a brilliant yes. woman when it comes to leads and marketing. Anything else that you guys want to add? Oh, they want to know about pricing. I imagine pricing varies based on programs and numbers and volume. It does. So, um, ooh, Amanda, I'm excited. Yes, definitely hit me up. Okay, so with pricing, it all depends on volume. Do you want color? Do you want that sticky note in there? Do you want me to kiss it and send it? Do you want me to spray it with a coffee smell? Whatever you want, we will do it, right? Uh, but we just need to kind of go over what details you want as well as that volume is very important. and as well as campaign. So pretty much for rapid fire, I'll let Rusty answer that because it does vary based off of volume as well, but it is first class. For our regular direct mail programs though, I mean, you're looking at a range from 70 cents to 89 cents. It just depends on where you're gonna land in the grid of volume. And like I said, color and all the different factors in there. Um, I like to, just depending on who you are, I, every campaign is specific to your agency. How do you sell yourself? right? Are you more of that corporate Allstate guy or are you that let my family help your family kind of guy, right? All of that's going to determine how I send your mailer, who I send it to, and when I send it. So I like, before I quote anybody on money, aside from telling you cash at me a million dollars, I need to know what the campaign is and to give you a decent quote. And I'm going to do something and Michaela's going to kill me later, but oh, okay. anybody that calls, sets a meeting with her and writes business now, we're going to give you guys a 10 cent break for your first month with us, which is substantial. That comes right off our bottom line. If you can just think about a stamp and everything else and what the cost is to do direct mail, we live on pennies. So a dime is a lot of money in our space. So mm -hmm. Michaela, don't beat me up too bad. I didn't know that mm -hmm. that was going to happen. So Merry You're Christmas, welcome. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, Very cool. Some fun. What else, y'all? Oh, tell them about rapid fire questions? pricing. Sorry, Joseph. Oh, yes. Sorry. Rapid fire. Rusty, rapid fire pricing. Rapid fire. Okay. So first off, that's a first class stamp. Go look up how much that is. I just want to swallow an elephant when I think about what a stamp costs today. Uh, it's a lot of money. So it's $1.25 is the cost of rapid fire, but we literally are taking some of the most expensive data on the planet and getting them a mailer within one week. That's, that's a big deal. I mean, I'm, I'm more excited about that than a lot of the things that I'm doing right now, because I'm already seeing the benefit at old school. And we've been doing this for about a month and a half. And it's a game changer. I mean, it really is. Actually talking to people that are interested in what you're selling, what a novel idea. So anyway. So rapid fire flyers. What an amazing yes. name. And it's <laughs> hard to say. I heard y'all trying to say there it. There was an email chain. We voted. Why did no one say that out loud before we voted? <laughs> I think it's super catchy. Rapid fire super fire. catchy. <laughs> And, you know, getting to someone while they're in the shopping mood, I think is amazing. Um, and I bet you're spending a lot less than if you're buying a ton of data leads or live transfers. Live transfers now in some states, I was talking to an agent in Texas. He's paying like $120 for a homeowner's live transfer right now. $120, right? Auto live transfers in his area of the state are like $80 to $90. 
80 to 90 dollars for a live transfer mm -hmm. so if you guys can target people that are in the mood they're shopping around they're online doing some google i don't know how y'all find all that data i sure hope you don't know my google search data i'm super boring though it's all it's I always like find your uh, google stocks and financials data, Joseph. <laughs> i don't know how y'all find all that data out on people but i think it's really cool to be able to strike while the iron's hot the new mover thing I love new mover thing, especially if you guys are in an area where a lot of people are moving in like us, Madison County, Alabama is one of the fastest growing counties in the country for many different reasons. If I had an agency today, if Craig Wiggins had had his agency today in Huntsville, we'd be all over that new mover, that new mover thing where you can reach out to people in a very personal direct way. I get insurance solicitations every week, every single week. Most of them are super boring. I mean, I look at all of them because I'm in the business. Most of them are super corporate -y super boring you know you can tell it was printed amongst thousands these people literally pay mainly i'm guessing women in their community to sit down with a pen and hand address these letters they hand stamp the letters that you can tell that it's not just some big corporate thing they'll think that you took the time to sit down and write it right i think their programs are amazing but it's so much more than just the handwritten direct mail this ain't no one trick pony. You can put that as your trademark. We ain't a one trick pony, y'all. That's that's yeah. a new tagline. Based you can on do that, so I much. saw another question on here saying, do you do life insurance? Yeah, we do, mm -hmm. we do anything, right? I actually have a couple life insurance buddies of mine. Um, one's in New Mexico and one's in Georgia that I do mailers for a lot. And yeah, then we'll do, like I said, anything, right? Just let me know what your that's idea is. Fantastic. Well, I think we've gotten all of the questions answered. Uh, you put your slide up there earlier mm -hmm. with your contact. I also put it in the chat, my Perfect. number, email, all that jazz. Calendly. That's your cell phone number? It's my cell phone number, my That's personal cell phone number. There's an astronaut on it. Yes, this is how <laughs> I <laughs> do my life. So I let it's case. not even on my LinkedIn page. I'm not afraid. So. Well, I think that's really, really awesome. I want to thank y'all for your partnership with CWC. Dozens of our agencies use you, and I know that you're helping them write so much more new business. Do you have any final thoughts, parting words for the people watching live or maybe catching the recording online? Uh, no, thank you for watching to talk for now. Yeah. <laughs> final words, yeah. <laughs> schedule that 30 Rusty. minute interview. I mean, you've got yeah, enough schedule, to and we'll just have a conversation, see what happens. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you know, we're, we're not high pressure sales or anything. We're here to help you. If it doesn't work, it's no big deal. So schedule a 30 minute meeting with Michaela. It's worth it. Very cool. So she just put the Calendly link out there. Calendly.com slash Michaela underscore Kelsey. Very, very cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know that you've got agencies to run, policies to write, guidelines to maneuver through. What can we write these days, right? <laughs> I totally get it. Let's get y'all back plugged in. We've got, what, three days and a couple hours left in this calendar month. Let's finish the month strong. Get off this call. Let's develop the team. Let's work on our leads. Let's get the, the opportunities there in front of your staff to help them close more deals, right? Let's yes. keep growing. Thank you all so much for attending. We look forward to seeing you on the next session. Thank, Thank you. you.